hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm coming at you with a comparison video of my um, louis vuitton sarah wallet and the prada zippy wallet i have been using this louis vuitton sarah wallet um, sometime around march this year after my mom gave gifted it to me um, she actually got it from my brother my brother gave, gave it to her as a gift but she decided to give it to me because she didn't like the slots inside I thought I would like to do a comparison video to the Prada wallet that I actually have been using for the past two years I got this zippy from the Florence space outlet at a really good price I believe how um, the Prada wallet is now going at about seven to nine hundred Singapore dollars. I have no idea how much are they selling in the um, boutique in Europe or in the USA, but I know it is too much. <laughs> so anyway, I it's a good thing that I got it from the outlet because I got it at a really good price. I believe I paid about two hundred euro for this, which is very good considering that um, they are selling at like two point five the price in in Singapore. So the the wallet came in a very nice Prada box like this. It's very solid. If you compare it with the Louis Vuitton box, I know they cannot be compared, but um, each has its own merit. I really like how uh, luxurious, how how heavy um, uh, this box is. It really made me feel that I have gotten my money's worth uh, just by looking at the box. Uh, I wouldn't have... I, I don't have much complaint about the Louis Vuitton box. Um, the old box is... It looks a lot nicer in my opinion compared to the new one. So if you do a comparison of the boxes, I would think that this is the original version. Um, if, if, I'm, if I didn't know that Louis Vuitton has actually changed the packaging, I would have thought that they actually made this box in China. And uh, it, it just doesn't look as nice as how it used to. If you also notice close closely, can you see that? They have actually changed their font. Um, I suspected this when I first saw this box because it just looked really off. Like some Chinese manufacturer has copied um, the Louis Vuitton very badly and designed this box but <laughs> this is the original box anyway so they have actually changed the font type if i'm not wrong or they have bolded the font which in my opinion doesn't look nice okay so this prada um, wallet came with a um authenticity card and this card is very important because within two years from when you purchase the wallet or any bag you can actually bring your item back to prada to for a servicing my um La safiano lux tote is now with the singapore boutique uh, for a servicing to actually retouch the i mean to touch up the hardware because the gold um, hardware has actually tarnished or discolor there's discoloration so I, I brought it back for them to do something about it I'm gonna get it back in about five weeks time so I'll let you know once I actually um, received it uh, I will share my experience with you so this wallet from Prada is known as the Porta Folio Port Portaman um, Portafolio and dash portament and it's in a color full coal <laughs> it's red in color okay it is uh, made of sapiano leather with the metal hardware and um, i bought this back in um, florence which i believe if it's in the outlet they don't actually date your card which could probably mean i i didn't try this could probably mean that if you bring this back to a normal boutique because your card wasn't actually dated i don't think that you would qualify for the two-year servicing i didn't bring back my wallet for servicing so i have no idea whether they could accept it it also came with a credit card a fake credit card and um, so a, a model card and also this authenticity card remember to keep them this is very important especially if you want to you know go back to Prada 
for some complaint or some you know servicing so this came with a a paper a paper and a felt material and this is the wallet i've been using this for the past two years so it will look a little worn okay so if you can see the wear and tear of it actually the wallet still look okay i don't mind continuing to use it except that because i received the louis vuitton from my mom i decided to switch out instead but if i'm con going to continue using this this actually still function really well even after two years um, the only wear and tear that i have is i have scuffing at the corner um, because it's safriano leather so it actually is um, maintaining pretty well i have a, a red discoloration here i also have a pen mark here which i actually accidentally soiled it myself and the zip doesn't look in in its tip-top condition you can see that the glaze has actually peeled off the zip is like so and it came with one two three four eight credit card slots with one center zip for um, coins and it's really very worn so you can see it's very dirty because coins are really dirty it, it, yeah so the interior is also made of safiano leather which i think is really good value for money and if you come uh, but the interior here is made of fabric so if you compare it with the um louis vuitton uh verney i'm sorry about my cat he's he's walking around uh the verney uh sarah sarah wallet in verney leather um this is a button closure um wallet compared to the zippy one and i have no issues um clipping it you can see that i don't really aim to snap it close but it's really easy i have no problem with that and because it's in the amarat color i have no worry about um color transfer or having ink stain on it uh, i have seen many other um people with the verni ladder especially if it's if it's a lighter color verni uh, even if it's red you can actually see ink stain or color transfer on it which i think um if you go for the amarat it's okay okay so what is in here i have a lot of things in here i have a lot of rubbish uh it has one two three six card slots um up inside and then there is another four here so if you compare to the zippy zippy has total eight slots but even though there are actually 10 slots here i i don't i don't end up using the ones in front because it is really difficult to get anything in and out it's quite tight and the reason why it's tight is because the material inside is also verni which it doesn't make sense because i can't get anything in and out of here it's it's very difficult so that's why i actually left it open okay so i have the there is a um money bill slot here which i will put my cash in and then um, because i have many other cards so what i did was i cut out the um the from another uh, a really um cheap alternative is to cut out the plastic slots from an uh, a card holder and i put the cards in so these cards i have like my starbucks cards my uh, coffee bean card my identity card so on and so forth my sephora card and um, i have a lot of receipts here because i just came back from two uh, business trips so my my expenses there is is claimable so i have to keep the receipt to to claim for what i spent and there is a center zip zipper compartment for my coins uh, which is similar to the um, Prada zipper and there's another slot here so you know I like like my um, Sanrio character so I have my melody uh, sorry this is Little Twin Stars um, this is 
Hello Kitty plaster. I have my Melody, another card holder with my Melody on it, and it does nothing. Okay, so I have a lot of rubbish in here, which I'm not going to do, go through them because they are really rubbish. So this is how it looks like. So if you uh, if you ask me which one, which wallet would I prefer, or would I buy a given a choice over again, I would prefer to go for the Prada Safiano leather. Um, be just simply because of the way that how I can organize my things in here and also that this is really value for money in, in terms of dollar for dollar because I got this from the outlet I got it at a really cheap price and it is probably the maximum that I'm going to pay for a wallet I it's about 300 Singapore dollar whereas this one I believe it was close to a thousand Singapore dollars um, so if you if, if, if it wasn't because I got it as a gift, I would have never purchased this, even though I was lasting for it. Um, so Prada is still my choice, and I I think this is a very good buy compared to this, because of the way you know the 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 slots are designed. So the the size of the wallet is about the same, and um, what I like also about this Prada. Um, wallet is that because it's a zipper zipper um, uh, zippy wallet so I can also put in my handphone and I can zip it up so it can become like a um, a clutch or a very easy you know uh, alternative if I'm going for lunch I don't have to lug a lot of things around I don't have to get another bag but whereas if I because I'm holding this bag now I'm in this wallet now so I would have to carry my um, handphone outside and or otherwise use another bag but okay so all in all Prada takes the the, the pie I would recommend that you consider Prada Safiano wallet if you are actually thinking about, thinking about uh, which wallet to go for so that's it thank you for coming to my channel if you like what you have seen please subscribe to my channel and give me a like like and follow me on instagram at jessamgirl8899 to see how i style my um, luxury bags with my thrifted outfits okay thank you see you again bye